Hi. Now, in this question, we've got to integrate then x all divided by x minus 2 times x plus 1. Integrate it with respect to x. So, just give you a short time to pause the video if you haven't tried this already. And uh, when you uh, come back, either fast forward to check your answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So don't forget then you can fast forward if you want to check your solution. Now, what type of integral is this? Well, what we've got in the denominator here are two linear factors. And what we need to do is apply partial fractions to this. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with partial fractions. If not, do go and check out the link to my video tutorials on this in the description below. So taking x all over x minus 2 times x plus 1 here, if you have linear factors in your denominator, then it's going to lead to partial fractions of the form a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 1, where a and b are constants. Okay, and we've got to find these constants. And to do this, what we do is we multiply both sides of this identity by the denominator here, x minus 2 times x plus 1. So if you were to do that, what you end up with is x on the left, okay, is identical to a times x plus 1 plus b times x minus 2, okay? Then we need to make one of these brackets equal to zero. It's the quickest way that we can find a and b. And if we set this bracket to zero by making x equal to two, we'll be able to find out what the value of a is. And so if you do that, let x equal two, you're gonna get two here equals two plus one, which is gonna be three a, and this is going to be b times 0, which is just simply 0. So you're left with 2 equals 3a, which leads you to a equals 2 thirds. Okay? And if we do much the same kind of thing to work out b, we make this bracket equal to 0 by letting x equal negative 1. And if you do that, then when x is negative 1, you're going to have minus 1 here. This bracket's going to be 0 and then you're left with b times negative 3, so negative 3b. And rearranging that, b equals 1 third. So we can substitute these values of a and b into here, and what we get is this result here. And notice that I haven't written 2 thirds all over x minus 2 and 1 third over x plus 1. It's much easier to multiply top and bottom of each fraction by 3 and you get a much more simplified fraction okay so this is what we've got and I can put these fractions here back into this integral so I can rewrite that integral as this okay using this result here now what I want to do next is split this up okay we've got two terms here we're integrating both of them with respect to x, so I can then just rewrite it like this. And notice how I've pulled out that constant here of two thirds in front of the integral sign, and the same here, one third. I don't have to do that, but it does make this type of integral easier to work with. So, what type of integral are these, okay? Well, you should be familiar with this result, okay? That is that if you've got a function of x in the denominator, as we have here, x minus 2 in this case and x plus 1 here, if you differentiate the denominators, okay, and you find that you get f dash x on the top here, okay, the first differential of f of x, then it leads to the natural log of the modulus of f of x, the denominator here, plus your constant of integration, of course. And so I can see that if I differentiate x minus 2 with respect to x, I get 1, which is in the numerator here. And similarly, if I differentiate x plus 1, 
with respect to x, I get 1, which is in the numerator here. So these two integrals are of this type. And so if I integrate them, okay, using that rule, then we get this result, okay? And there's my constant of integration plus c. Now I could leave this answer like this, okay, and it would be correct, but we might be asked to simplify it further. And so what I can do is pull out, say, a third as a common factor. So if I was to pull out a third as a common factor between those two terms, we're going to get this result here. And then I can simplify this further. I can use the power rule for logs when I've got a number in the front of a natural log term, or any log term for that matter of fact. So I can bring that two up as a power. So we end up with this result, okay? I've just brought that two from there up to the top here. And then I should be familiar with the rule that when you have a log plus another log, it's the same as the log of each part being multiplied together. So using that rule, okay, we end up with one third times the natural log of the modulus of all of x minus two squared times x plus one and your constant of integration plus c. Okay, so I hope you're able to uh, get that. Well done if you did. If not, at least being able to see how to do this. And don't forget, there's links in the description below if you uh, struggle with any of these ideas, partial fractions or even this type of integral. Okay, so uh, do check those out. And uh, give us a like if you found this useful and uh, subscribe maybe to our YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in another video.